Hey viewers, welcome back to Hungry Fusion. Before we jump into the recipe, your child needs time to adapt to the texture of solid foods before absorbing larger chunks of fat eating biscuits, which could ultimately be a choking hazard if he is not familiar with how to chew. Make sure your baby can sit up right, has the ability to hold it and feed himself. Usually baby licks sucks and wraps it around on gums which may be helpful for teething. Do not leave them unattended when introducing new foods. Today we are making oats banana teething biscuits. You can introduce these biscuits for babies above 8 months. They are sugar free and taste absolutely amazing. This can be had by babies or even toddlers and people with diabetics. But keep it in moderation. Now let's jump into the ingredients. I am going to take two dates that is soaked in warm water, two tablespoons of extra virgin coconut oil, don't use regular coconut oil, one fully ripened banana and a pinch of cinnamon powder which is optional. I have taken two cups of old fashioned oats. You can also use any type of oats in this recipe. Now let's transfer it into the blender. We are going to make oats powder that is oat flour. Now let's grind it into a fine powder. The finer the powder is then easier for the babies to chew it on. Once grinded, transfer this mixture into a bowl. I am adding 2 dates, this is for extra sweetness, babies should not consume sugar till 1 year, so I am using dates here, you can skip that also. If you are giving this to toddlers, you can add 2 tablespoons of maple syrup, I added 1 banana, add 2 tablespoon coconut oil and a pinch of cinnamon powder which is optional. Let's grind it again into this creamy consistency. You can also add cocoa powder, cardamom powder, vanilla extract for flavor but I am skipping it as this is for babies. Now let's add half of the oat flour to this banana mixture and then give it in pulse mode. Now I have added the remaining oat flour and formed a dough. I feel it is a bit hard. So I am going to add 1 teaspoon coconut oil to it. You can adjust coconut oil based on your needs. If you have a toddler then you have more coconut oil to this recipe for a crispier biscuit and if you are going to give it to the baby then you need to add very less. Make desired shape for this biscuits. Easy for the babies to hold it and chew it on. Another way to make this air shape is roll out the dough between the parchment paper and make this air shapes out of it. I have used a cup, you can also use a cookie cutter. These biscuits have less sugar but the taste will be amazing. Even you can punch a little hole on these biscuits to hang it out into the baby's bib so that whenever they feel to eat they can eat I am making designs out of which I had I rolled out the remaining dough and I am going to make it as some sticks I felt this shape would be easy for the baby to hold on You can also blend the corners of the biscuits. Now let's bake these biscuits. I am going to bake at 350 degree Fahrenheit for 10 minutes in a preheated oven. After 10 minutes flip it over and bake for another 7 minutes. If you feel your biscuits are still tender you can bake up to 10 minutes. The warm smell of banana and oatmeal is so awesome which tempts us. Let it cool completely for crispier biscuits. 
when it is warm it is still soft now our biscuits are done it is easy healthy see how well it turned out make dessert shapes convenient for your baby my baby enjoyed this biscuit a lot he liked it stay tuned guys for more amazing recipes subscribe to my channel thank you